Welcome back oh, yes. to today. I know it smells good, Carlos, doesn't it? Well, a family-run Aussie farm has cemented itself as one of the best beef producers on earth, winning multiple awards at the annual World Steak Challenge. It's the universe. <laughs> it's Hamworth's Jack's Creek beef producers from more than 20 countries, and we're pleased to say Patrick Wormall from Jack's Creek, along with Chef Nader Shayeb and barbecue expert Lucas Armstrong join us now on a beautiful day at the Today Show Terrace. <laughs> nice to see you. Congratulations, Patrick. Thanks, How does it feel? Hey, brilliant. We're thrilled. We, um, yeah, this is the third time we've won the World State Challenge. So third time. To be back on top again, it's amazing. You're and cleaning up. Look, it's, it's the, com the competition is fierce. Mm. There's some pretty good meat around. You've got 15 awards. What, what's the secret to yours? Well, firstly, that it's Jack's Creek. <laughs> but uh, no, look, we've been doing it since 1991, so it's our depth of experience and the consistency around what we do. Looks like you've got different types of meat yeah. too, um, yep. so hence the different categories. Um, which is your favourite? Oh, look, to be honest, like I, I love the world's best sirloin here. Yeah. Yeah, so that's um, a purebred Wagyu. Uh, and uh, with a marble score eight to nine, so that's probably my favourite steak there. Mm. Um, we've also got a, um, a Scotch fillet here, a Wagyu Scotch fillet. Yeah, and they're, they're my two favourites. Gee, the Wagyu is popular right now, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely, it's all about how you cook it too, isn't it? I mean, you, Lucas, are among the barbe barbecuing experts of the world. What's yeah. the best way to cook one of these steaks? It depends on the steaks. My personal preference is over charcoal and wood, yeah, and nice. um, cook to a nice medium. Gives you a nice smoky flavour, doesn't it? It does. Well, get, it, get, it, get going. We've got over a tri tip here we're going to put on for you guys. Oh. All right, beautiful. And, and over here, if you've only got the barbecue, yeah. what's the best way? Uh, you know, just good quality steak cuts, oil, uh, sea salt, a neutral oil that, you know, you're going to enhance the flavour of the meat rather than masking the flavour of the meat. Well, you get a bit, better get busy because there's, there's lots of Smells different calls as well <laughs> about how you cook it. Do you turn it a bunch of times or you just turn it once or do you let it rest? So what is the oh, situation? I think depending on the size of the steak, if it's very thick, you might want to turn it a few times so it's not drying on the outside. Mm. If, it's much, if it's a bit thinner, maybe leave it a bit longer. So this one here, the, the big one here, yep. that's going to require a bit to get all the way through. That's right. And you want to be turning that so it's an even heat throughout. So this is one he cooked. How long did that take then? That, I'd say that took about eight, nine minutes. Mm. Just doing it a bit slower, getting that nice Maillard browning on it. You don't Gorgeous. want it on a burning hot heat and making it go bitter. Okay. You want to avoid that. So good medium high heat. Should we slice a little bit up? Uh oh, let's get into uh, it. Yeah, let's do, do you want to do that for us? Do the honours yeah. for us. Look at the marbling as nice. well. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. that is incredible. It, it is interesting, the marbling score, isn't it? Um, yeah. For a, a few years there, you couldn't even use the Wagyu score because the Japanese were protective of it, weren't they? They were, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so. But we brought Wagyu out in 1991, and Australia yeah. hasn't looked back. It's just an amazing breed and produces the, you know, the best quality steak. Obviously. Why are we so good at Wagyu? Uh, look, Australia is you know, a prime agricultural country and we can just do things on scale, but mm. you know, the people that are involved in the industry are, are completely dedicated to yeah. what they do. And every year we get better and better. So. What does it mean? Wagyu actually means Japanese cattle, doesn't it? I know, it? right? Yeah, yeah. So in those early days, like trying to convince people that we had Wagyu in Australia was like the first hurdle. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but now everyone just loves it. I mean, even if you don't have as much of it, it's, I mean, it's a very rich yeah. Yeah. part of meat, isn't it? But it's just absolutely delicious. Well, if you're trying to impress somebody or even just impress your own taste buds, yeah, yeah Wagyu's the go. Look at Sarah over there. How, do you, how, would, you, how would you judge Sarah's yeah, abilities? Right. I think her initiative has... Thank you. A lot of oh, yeah, absolutely. Basically, what he's saying is, you get the you get the encouragement. All right, I would agree. I think you need to get a little bit of salt. It helps having a good barbecue too. Yeah. Yes, doesn't it? Do I get to try 100%. one now? Yeah. Now I've still one. got to cut the world's best steak here. Just mm. put it back on. Give it a nice reheat. Mm. All right. Oh, We're going to stay here for a little bit. That's amazing. We'll come back to you after the break because this stuff is lighting my oh, mouth up and stuff. It's so good. Absolutely beautiful. See you in a sec. Oh. I hear there's some more meat on offer. Carl, sure Sarah. There sure is. There sure is, Alex. It's Sorry good. about eating in front of you. I know. We don't have to eat for the rest of the day. This is incredible, this if you want spread. To, if you want to grab some of this award-winning mm. steak, the world's greatest, uh, the meat emporium um, in Sydney, you can get that, get it there. Yeah. Um, go online and, and get it shipped to you because it's good <laughs> for you, especially if you're a... Vegetarian. DC, good morning to you. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Carlos, what's the website of that again? I'm asking meat, for a friend. The meat emporium .com. The meat emporium .com. Dot Carlos. <laughs> Dot Carlos. <laughs> uh, it just comes up, when I do it, it just comes up with your address. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why that is. It's a bit of find.
Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?